And I usually play him usually means Marth, but today he's not going Marth. Today he's going to Cinder. Or maybe Gandalf. Shadow Wolf X. There you go. Okay, he's so probably the, it's probably the tag with Wolf. Uh, got it, got it. This is a matchup that I honestly people can burn, like can hang me at the stake, but uh, I think Incineroar wins this matchup. Go on. Uh, <laughs> simply, simply because, like, yes, Ganondorf is a character that's so good because he has Smash 4 Jank. Yeah. But in Cinnamon, he just has intangibility with a lot of his moves. Not to say that Ganondorf doesn't, right. but like all of his leg moves have intangibility. Like up air, if he goes for up air, usually Ganon's like, oh, if you approach me, I'm gonna go for down. Right. Right. His his up tilt has intangibility, so all of his like actual like hitboxes have intangibility. So they're really good. Um, it all depends on how Shadow Wolf is going to be able to play that matchup. Oh, I like it. He tried to go Ooh, for the... First. This, uh, people call it Chromicide when you go for the... Oh, my God. See, see, now he's making me eat the words out of my All mind. these good things that you were saying about Sora. He was I hyped you up, man. Yeah, he was playing the first minute of that stock really well. And it's, like the, it's, like the, it's like the Floyd May Mayweather and... Uh, <laughs> oh boy. It's like any Floyd Mayweather fight, man. You just hype it up and then nothing goes on for the next five minutes. Yeah, sounds about right. I'm about to Yeah. Oh, nah, able to. Ah, you directional air dodge, yeah. For your aim of the game here, honestly, is to use your intangibility on Gandalf, understand his approaches. Right. This almost is a game of footsies and whiffs. So, your ability to understand how Gandalf is going to approach you, right? Dive kick is usually one of them, and to be able to punish that, you do have neutral B, which is pretty much like Red Tornado from Zangief, all this crap. Get him off the stage, you will die. That percent. Yeah, because I would imagine for Incineroar, as long as he just stays outside of like Ganon, like side B range, he should be able to react. Oh, that's big. That, that's big, man. That's the fear factor. Wow, that was so great. Oh, that stomp man to go the yard. Stomp the yard. How much is this gonna do? Sixty-one percent. Oh, that hurts. But yeah, like as I was saying, as long as he stays just outside of side B range, he can react to all of Ganon's options and then just suppress him at the ledge. Oh, the serve? More like this. The serve into the upper. Oh, oh man, you missed. Why were you on the stage? <laughs> you were trying to go for it. I felt like he was really trying to time it where he could have gotten the upwards one. Oh man, careful. And then when it comes to chasing the in the air, you never want to be directly below him. You want to be like, so if he's facing one direction, you want to be aligned right behind him. Yeah. So that way he has no option to like just suddenly come down and hit you. That was sad. <laughs> and I honestly feel it was because Pro tried to like, all right, he's got invincibility. Why would you go after him? Why would you go for an air-to-air -air combat situation? Right. You you would just honestly respect the man and just like, all right, hold up, never mind. Back off. Just run away for two seconds. Yeah, exactly. Um, that well, that's the thing about the matchup between Incineroar and Ganondorf, right? Like you have to respect. You never want to be directly to blow him because you might get dive kicked. You might get down air. But you have up air, which has intangibility. Um, so you're able to challenge him for going that. And even then, you have if you if you read his one of those moves, you can go for clothesline. So that's your ability that you kind of want to counter again. And that's why I'm telling you, it becomes a game of whips and. Dash dances, but here's, here's a stage that I wish was never legal. Same, but I can understand why it's your, uh, Did you see the evil rule set? We have this stage and Yoshi's story avail available. I know, it's absurd. And, uh, and it's like, oh you, guys, oh, you guys almost had the goat rule set. Almost there, but it's okay. But yeah, I can understand why uh, Fro, the Tsunora, wants to go on this stage, right? Shorter blast zones can set the clothesline close sooner, and mm -hmm. then that platform will help for the vertical com the vertical uppers. Yeah. You do have intangibility when you go for neutral B, which is Darkest Lair at, mm -hmm. uh, which is pretty good, especially at the ledge. You just have to be careful because you can't get get up attack, and your legs are not intangible. Your body is, though, so. So you gotta be careful. Ah, uh, the dash tag. Solid move. I mean, I, I respect it, right? At that point, you kind of just want him to get him off you. True. But yeah, like Crow's doing. Uh, oh, he had him stuck at the ledge, and he even stayed outside that distance that we were talking about. But he wanted to surprise him with the uh, yeah, darkest lariat. I just call it a red tornado because it's easier to say than lariat. Oh. And not only that, it's the same thing that Zongi has in Street Fighter Five. Right. So does I have that cheap green punch approaching move you always have? <laughs> God. Right. There, it doesn't have intangibility uh, due to popular belief. Wow, man, you really just got off there and you, you gave really him just that. did it, yeah. Man, you just really gave him that. Well, he read it, yeah. Yeah, he did. And just like that, he's already eating it up with this man, bro. He went for down tilt, and at that point, he kind of stalled himself for a second because you can go for what it's gonna. I call it the center side. Uh -huh. Basically, it's like the, it works like the comma side. Right. And you can do it with a B. 
Yeah, yeah. Like, I've seen it. The, yeah. It's like down to two, I think, up to two, up to mm -hmm. see, see what I'm saying? Shadow of has to respect it because you have intangibility. And you have to be careful and you have to watch your Oh, uh, I think I have a match. Oh, man, you have a match. Good old muffin from Mars taking over. Nah, man, he's just gonna sit there. Uh, Look at him. Do you, do you wanna come on? I'll be back as soon as I can. Alright, thank you. Down throw to Nair. Up air. I mean, for Shadow Wolf, he's not too far behind. Oh, dash tag. Wait. Dash tag. If you're going for dash tag, you usually fall with up air. Usually, like, those percent, so you have to be, wa be aware. Down air, wait for the up air. There it is. Get him off the stage. Barbarian slice. Nothing caught just yet. Fro kind of has perspective, but you have to watch the landing man. You know, the middle platform. Always stat it there, and he went for the. Yeah. He went for revenge when literally he wasn't going to get hit. I think he was just trying to counteract the fact that he might have gotten hit by a wizard kick. So, yeah. All right, well, that wraps. That about wraps it up. 2 0. Shadow Wolf X, and I will see you guys in a minute when I get a new, another commentator.